Mike said, home this year. You guys avoided it with, with those last five minutes. Well, what was the key to, to pulling it out and avoiding the upset? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, we just had, you know, oftentimes you have one guy have an off night or two guys, and the, all the credit goes to uh, UNCG um, from a defensive standpoint. But we had a lot of guys just not play – as well as they have, and they, and they kind of all did it in one game, or not all, but many. Um, but I thought down the stretch, you know, our guys played composed. Um, you know, we talked yesterday a long time about five seniors coming in here, and, and um, I thought that, that their team came in with great confidence. I thought they played with great maturity. Um, you know, and for us, maybe we didn't handle – um, you know, the great second half that we had against San Jose State and put that behind us and understand how hard it is uh, to go and earn every win. It's part of our, it's part of our growth um, with 11 new players. Um, but certainly, um, you know, down the stretch, we, we, you know, we played well enough to, to win the basketball game. Give us an update on Trevin. Uh, no, there won't be any, you know, update until uh, he gets with the medical people tomorrow and, and uh, and they're able to MRI it or X-ray it or what, you know so we won't we won't know until tomorrow. That, that's a tough thing you know for the players to see their teammate go down like that. How'd you think they handled that? How'd you think you handled not not having one of your best players for? Most yeah, I mean it certainly changed you know on a night that we were we were really struggling. It certainly changed the complexion of of uh, pl you know we had a lot of players playing out of position that that we'll have to try to get corrected very quickly before we play a really good Oklahoma team on. On Saturday, um, you know, and then we just, you know, we got you got to be ready. You know, we need everybody ready to play um, from start to to finish. Y'all had six FTAs in the first half, twenty seven in the second half. Was that a point of emphasis? I would say so. Um, I you know, <laughs> I I thought we, you know, when you're when you're making threes like we were, you know, against San Jose State. And you get good quality shots, and and you have some rhythm, and you're feeling good. Then, then you want to encourage guys, you know. And on 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 nights like tonight, when we clearly struggled from three the the entire 40 minutes, then you've got to adjust your game, and you have to understand that all right, we're trying to win the game right now, and we and we got to dribble, drive, attack. The three's not falling. Um, so I think, you know, going three for 18, um, you know, we just – we have to limit our attempts on the nights that, that it's not falling and on the nights that the three is falling. We probably need to take a high volume, so. And uh, Nick was in here, and he was critical of his own defense, but he gave you 22 points. I'm curious how you assess his overall game tonight. Yeah, I think we – I think tonight, uh, defensively, the entire team um, ha ha has got to get better. Uh, than what we uh, defended, especially, you know, from three. Um, I thought Nick was really good offensively. Um, you know, the 11 FTAs were really important on a night that, that we struggled. Um, you know, in virtually a second game, that 22 points is, is you know, especially when we only scored 65. Um, you know, we if he doesn't have a good scoring night, then, then we probably don't win tonight. What did Greensboro do to give you guys trouble in the first half? I mean, anything in particular? Not, you know, we only had 12 turnovers, you know, at the end of the majority, but I don't have it in, I only had the full, I don't know how many we had at half, I think maybe nine. Uh, I thought we were careless with the ball. Um, you know, we had, we had you know, just poor shooting field goal percentage uh, really across the board. I thought that Makai was really effective. Um, having a double double, I thought he was a, a game changer. I mean, the block shots, the protection of the rim, limiting uh, our opponents tonight, paint points. Uh, he gets a ton of the credit for that. Thought Anthony was very effective as well. Um, you know, AB is is plus 16 in in his minutes tonight. Um, you know, and then and then you you, you know you mentioned Nick's. Um, you know, certainly Nick's ability to, to, to convert at the foul line. Did uh, 
AB's uh, perimeter shooting too. He made two of the team's three threes tonight. I think he was five of his last nine. Just how big of a lift is that when he's knocking down jumpers? Yeah, Scott. I mean, he's AB's really working at it. I mean, you you know, uh, on off off hours, you see him in the gym. I think he's shooting the ball with good confidence. I think the biggest thing is feet are set when he's taking those threes, um, and we and we need him to keep the defense honest and. Um, you know, I think his three-point percentage, I don't have it in front of me, the CUME stats for the year, but I think it continues to rise because the quality of the shot that, that A.B. has taken is a high-quality shot. Um, he's not forcing it. He's got his feet set. He's getting it on, on swing passes or when his man overhelps. And, Coach, you mentioned the, the three-point defense. 40%. Allowed nine three-pointers tonight, and, and then you've been turning teams over at a high rate, only turning them over nine times. Uh, but you did have nine blocked shots. How important was the rim protection on a night where maybe the, some of the other things you do well normally defensively, maybe not so much? Yeah, Curtis, I, for sure the, the paint, the protection, the rim protection, you know, mainly. Um, Makai was phenomenal. Um, you know, defending the threes, some nights we've been – absolutely incredible on a positive note and and tonight we just did, we just didn't you know took a step backwards offensively and defensively and um you know on uh on Thursday and and Friday we got to we got to we got to try to get right uh, and Friday's obviously a travel day too Eric I know you talked about having short practices the other day and I heard you on the radio I assume you had a short practice yesterday um I was asking guys about that, Nick said, well, we're not going to have a short practice tomorrow or something like that. I mean, are you, are you going to work them out pretty hard? Or Yeah, I think we'll go – I mean, Thursday will be the next day that we hit the floor. And so um, certainly we we, uh, we will go a little bit longer than, than, what, than what we have for sure. And then Makai, you know, he's giving you pretty consistent minutes really all season, I think. But today, you know, 13 points, 14 boards, four blocks – just what do you think his game overall and just how he's played for you after in the summer he wasn't that impressive, you know, in Europe? I just think he's getting more comfortable and, and he, you know, he he plays hard. Like he runs the floor hard and, um, you know, the game is, you know, like if you're struggling, run the floor, get an easy layup, you know. Uh, fly in there and crash the offensive glass and get a putback. And uh, he's doing that. His, his activity defensively is really good. Um, you know, so he's, I mean, he's, tonight he's, if you, if you point to someone that just says, you know, hey, coming into the game, did you think you were going to get a double-double and four blocks? I mean, that's a, that's a, his stat line is, is, is really impressive. Right, if you're considering where he was, you know, like say in the summer, and I know that's, maybe that's not fair because he hadn't been here that long, but has he surprised you? Well, I mean, we saw his uh, his agility, his his ability to move his feet when we watched film. You know, when he played at Rhode Island, and and that's why we were really intrigued with him. Um, but I just think he's um, been very, you know, he's adapted to our um, culture. Um, you know, maybe early on it was it was you know he was still trying to learn what what the expectations are and things like that. Nick, you know, you obviously went on his restrictions, 39. How, how good was it to see, you know, and you needed them. You probably needed every second of them tonight. How, how good was that to see him be able to play 39 minutes and be pretty effective? Yeah, I, th I mean, you know, obviously we were a little bit concerned about uh, his wind and conditioning. Um, but I thought, he, you know, he was, he was fresh enough to make some foul shots when we needed. Coach Devo finished with a double double tonight. I'm curious what you thought of his performance. Yeah, I thought Devo did. He played a lot of the, uh, you know, we had him guarding some fours and and we played him uh, out of position just because we were kind of doing stuff on the fly with with TB getting uh, injured. But I thought his energy was phenomenal. You know, crashing the glass at his size, uh, getting ten boards was 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 awesome. And and in, in transition, he you know he added some a different dimension to us as well playing that spot. Yeah, Anthony picked up his second foul pretty early in the, in the first half and then came back in, and then Devo obviously played with four fouls for a good bit there. What was it like kind of having to make those decisions on the fly and kind of realizing the sense of urgency there? Yeah, I thought it was really, really, really important to, uh, you know, to, to let them maybe play through some foul trouble that, that in the past I haven't. 
um, just based on the complexion of the way the game was, was being played.